Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos today. I'm in the beautiful, exotic and faraway country of Tuvalu. You may be asking yourselves now, where in the world is Tuvalu? Well, it is located about three hours north from Suva by plane. And Suva is the capital of Fiji. You can only get here twice a week by flight from Fiji, and that's about it. It is one of the most remote democracies in the world, and it is a country of about 12,000 people. And it is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. So look at my channel for other videos so you can see what it looks like here in Tuvalu. In this particular video, we're going to go in the Nauti Primary School. The big primary school here at Funafuti, the capital of Tuvalu. We're going to go inside the classrooms, not that the uh, school is in recession, and we're going to see what the classrooms look like. So joining me for the very, very interesting documentary, here's the Nauti Primary School in Funafuti, the capital of Tuvalu, in the Central Pacific. Wow, let's go. And uh, here's a view of Nauti Primary School. from the second floor where I am right now. Now this is the school for grades one through eight. We're gonna get a chance now to go inside some of the classrooms and videotape them. So you have never seen a classroom in a school in Tuvalu. Well, Here's your chance. But let's get a view of the classrooms first, right there. Let's go in a couple of them. The school is uh, in recession right now. So there are no classes. But let's walk around. This is one of the classrooms here. Now the windows here face towards the lagoon of Tuvalu, the famous lagoon, the beautiful lagoon. That's the board right there, and these are the individual desks. The teacher's desk. These are all the books, I would imagine. Look at this. These are the chairs. Okay, I am inside a different classroom. Let's see here what uh, the last class was about. This was week 12 and the theme was detachment. And it says here, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers. You can see here. Now what's really important here is that the kids are taught in English. And all the kids here speak English very, very well. Here is the board, organization board, the different teams. Here's the class list, boys and girls, look at it. And I was correct, there is uh, 30 kids here, 15 boys, 15 girls. Clean environment teaching them how to keep Tuvalu clean. And I must admit they are doing a re relatively good job keeping the country clean compared to other countries here in the Pacific. And here's a different classroom and it says, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's the saying on top of the board, over the board right there. And you can see here, 
the kids are learning English, health science, social science, basic, basic science. Let's go to the other board over here. Drawings. Here's the class list, girls and boys. There are twice as many girls as boys. Here's a general view and here's the uh, the teacher's desk. And here's a beautiful view, by the way, of the lagoon. You can see the beautiful blue water. I am now downstairs, so let's visit one of the classrooms here. You can see everything is in English. Here are the months and the days of the week, the alphabet. Every classroom is in English. Same desks and chairs, one desk and one chair per student. Here's the uh, desk of the teacher here. I'm not sure what the coconuts under the desk are doing there. Right there. The books. Now here's something interesting. Every kid here has drawn his home or her home. Look at this. So you can see how kids here picture and imagine their homes. So this is certainly a classroom of very young kids. Probably about six or seven years old. Here's a class list with the boys and girls, 11 girls and 34 boys, lucky girls. Look at this. Yeah, these are definitely youngsters here. And here's the overall look and feel of the classroom. Now let's look at the books here. Let's go to the books and see what do they teach them. Here's a couple of books about mathematics, geography, the green one. And I'm surprised here, pleasantly surprised, that there is emphasis on the environment. We did see upstairs in one of the classrooms emphasis about the environment. And here's a book. It says Environmental Education Enrichment. And I'm still in the same classroom. And here's another book that says the environment and us. So they must teach their kids here from very young age how to take care of the environment. And Tuvalu really has no choice. It is such a small country with so limited space. If they don't take care of the environment, the whole country will be swimming in garbage. So I'm very, very pleasantly surprised here. Now this stack of notebooks that you see here are quite obviously from the students here in this classroom. And uh, let's look at uh, a couple of them. You can see this is uh, math. And in this particular case, the student here got six points out of 10. And this student here got five points out of 10. You can see the red markings on the lower right corner. Here's the view of the teacher's desk. 
And uh, here's the last uh, classroom we're going to look at. And the reason I'm going to show you this one is because of what's written here on the board. I want to go back to the theme that I brought up to your attention about the environment. And here on this piece of paper, taped to the wall, to the uh, board, it says, what is a conservation area? That's the number one question. And number two is, name three things that can be found in a conservation area. The theme here is constantly the environment. Look at this here, water and energy, the need for proper toilet, how do you have a proper toilet constructed? You can see the signs over there. So the overall theme, recurring theme in these classrooms is uh, the environment. Of course, there are other themes here, but every classroom seems to have a certain emphasis in the environment as well. You can see the decorations in this classroom, by the way. And uh, same desks and uh, chairs and the view of the lagoon right there. The teacher's desk, the notebooks. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this tour, this very unique tour of a primary school in Tuvalu in the Central Pacific. I doubt if anybody has ever recorded anything about this primary school in this faraway beautiful country of 12,000 people. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.